Ever hear of infrasound waves? Infrasound waves are sonic energy below the normal frequency of human hearing, about 20 hertz. Infrasound waves is the reason animals get agitated before an earthquake occurs, whether it's a major earthquake or not. And recent research has shown that infrasound waves have a huge connection to human hallucinations akin to hauntings. You know, seeing ghosts, hearing the dead, hearing voices, etc. The brain perceives the vibrations caused by the infrasound waves, but being unable to interpret it as audible sound, it may reinterpret the energy as visual audible stimuli. It is theorized that certain people's brains are more affected to infrasound than others, which is why uh, they can see and hear certain things more than other people who cannot see and hear things thanks to the infrasound waves. It is also suggested that due to this, it can cause feelings of awe or fear in humans. And since we humans cannot perceive it due to its low frequency to us, it can make people feel vaguely that supernatural events are taking place. It has also been shown that infrasound has been purposely added to music as of uh, lately, in the past decade or so, to help give their music spine-tingling sensations while you're listening to it. They did an experiment to see the effects on infrasound in human beings, which happened on May 31st, 2003 in the UK. They exposed about 700 people to music laced with 17 hertz uh, sine waves described as near the edge of hearing produced by an extra long stroke subwoofer mounted two thirds of the way from the end of a secon meter long plastic sewer pipe. Among the other information which will be provided in the links below in the description box, the participants were not told which pieces had the infrasonic tune, which resulted in a significant number, according to them, about 22%. The participants reported as feeling anxious, uneasiness, uh, extreme sorrow, uh, nervous feelings of revulsion and fear, chills down their spines, and feelings of pressure on their chest. Professor Richard Wiseman said about this experiment, These results suggest that low-frequency sound can cause people to have unusual experiences even though they cannot consciously detect infrasound. Some scientists have suggested that this level of sound may be present at some allegedly haunted sites, and so can cause people to have odd sensations that they attribute to a ghost. Our findings support these ideas. Now, there was some research done by a man named Vic Taddy, uh, who was, as Wikipedia says, a lecturer in information technology, as they say, was best known for his research in relationship between infrasound and ghostly apparitions. His work showed that infrasound, or infrasonic waves, whatever the hell you want to call it, affected many things in, in the uh, laboratory that he was in. It affected uh, the objects, causing him to move around widely. Uh, without any anything touching the wheel at all, it affected electrical equipment that they have there flickering lights uh, to on and off machines, etc, etc, and it also made uh, Vic Taddy see blobs just outside of his vision. He could see it, but at the same time he couldn't, which information on his actual research will be provided in the links in the description box below. While at the same time the experiment was going on, it messed with the walls in it, I'm not sure if you can pronounce it, if I can pronounce it, which of the eye, which is given at 18 by NASA. And the infrasound caused several things in his lab was caused by several things in his lab was 18.98 hertz. More research needs to be, and I believe, is being made on infrasound and what effects it has on a human brain. But for the most part, all of these stories involving ghostly apparitions, hearing voices, and all of these hauntings at these haunting houses are just the result of infrasound and infrasonic waves affecting uh, the human brain causing whatever person whose the brain whose brain is being affected by infrasound to hear and see these strange things 